hello everyone welcome back to another video so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make an advanced gfx on blender 2.82 and let's get started so first you like to open up roblox studio i'll leave a link in that in the description down below once roblox studio loads you like to click on base plate so it has loaded now, and if you are wondering how there's toolbox, explore, etc. on here, I'd like to go to view, and just click on explore, properties, and toolbox. You like to download the plugin called load character. So under toolbox, where it says models, click on it, go to plugins. Now you like to look up load character. It would be this one right here. Once you have downloaded that, you like to go to plugins and click on load character. I'm just going to look up my um, username. Make sure spawn at origin is checked off and click on spawn R6. As you can see, my character is right here. And now if you would like to add a background or a base plate, just go back to models on the side and search up aesthetic rooms there'll be plenty of rooms to choose from if i like a certain base plate i usually see what they um the creator of the base plate has made so i click on buy and it shows what that person has made i'm actually going to use floral room right now so i'm just going to hold down my left click and drag it on to my base plate and let go. I'm actually going to move it to the front. Once you have done that, under Explorer, drag your username, hold it with the left click, drag it, go to the aesthetic rooms, and then drop it. Once you have done that, I'm just going to use my left click to just scroll like that to see if anything else is missing. And now I'm going to click on the aesthetic rooms right click scroll down to export selection I'm on Mac so I'm going to save it to downloads if you have a different computer you can save it to your Roblox file or to a file where it shows in Blender I'm just going to name it GFX tutorial and click save now you like to open up your woman rig there will be a link in the description down below so make sure you download that before you do the rest of the steps i'm about to explain once you have downloaded the woman rig you like to go to your downloads folder or any folder to try to find that um the woman rig you just downloaded so mine is in my downloads folder i'm just going to double click and then there will be rig and text just double click on rig and there will be default blend double click and now blender 2.82 will start to load it will pop up like this on your screen to be able to move. Hold down shift and then hold down the squiggly line thingy. It's on the screen. I don't even know what it is. I'm sorry. And then move with your mouse. To be able to move, use W A D S. A W D S. To go faster, hold down any key and hold down W and then hold down shift. I'm just going to go to the side. To be able to stop, click anywhere. Hold down B on your keyboard. Drag your left click above like the head, like, yeah, right there. Once you have this selected, click on X on your keyboard and click on delete. Now I'm just going to move to the front. Left click on your torso. Open the right side up a little bit. Go to this icon up top click on it go down general and go to shader editor this will pop up use your mouse to scroll use these use these to go up and down and try to find texture I'm just going to zoom in a little bit once you have found texture click on the folders icon and then find where you have saved your model so I found mine Arlena for text PNG so what you like to do, just double click on it, and it will load. Now you like to go to the side over here. See so these icons right here? You like to go to this one right here, the camera icon, click on it. Change the render to 160. 
scroll down, open up film, click on transparent, open up performance, change the tiles to 1616. Go to the next icon. We are not going to change the size, so you can just leave it to like that if you like. Scroll down where it says file format. Click on it and you change it to PNG. And then change it to RGBA. In the last icon, click on it. Scroll all the way down to denoising. Now we're actually going to render the head in. So on the top left, click on file, import, wavefront. On the side, it'll say geometry. Click on it. Click on split by group. Now you just like to find your model. Mine's in my download, so I'm going to double click on it. Make sure it's OBJ at the end though. Once it has loaded, I'm just going to move my camera like over here a bit, go like, like this. As you can see, there's tools on the left side. Click on the move tool and just move your character like that. By the way, I'm just going to select the head on this one. So to select, left click, hold shift, left click. Just keep holding that left click and then let go. And I'm just going to use the move tool. Oh, I forgot something. Oh no. Okay, my bad. Use the move tool to move it on to the other body. Use the rotate tool. Use the blue one to rotate. Now I'm just going to see the front. Hold on. Now let's see the front. Once you have put it onto the rig body, you can delete this other one right over here. I'm just going to, ooh, I'm just going to hold down B again. Hold down B, just drag, let go, X, delete. Once you delete your character, you like to just move again and go. Basically, I'm just going to stop in the front. And now I'm just going to start posing. So to be able to actually move parts, you would like to left click on a part of the rig. I'm going to left click on the arm oops, near the hand. And I'm going to use the rotating tool. And I'm going to rotate with the red line. I'm going to rotate it right. There you go. And as you can see, it moved upwards. And I'm going to use... this one the arm one and I'm going to rotate it that way like that okay so that's one arm and now for the other arm I'm basically going to do the same just click red and I'm just going to like that you could actually go in the middle and then just hold down your left click and you could just move the arm like that and now I'm going to move the leg. So I'm just going to left click on part of the leg. Legs rig. Make sure you click on the rig, not the part itself. So I'm just going to use the red to make it like sort of like up a little bit. Like, like that. And now if you would like to move it on to the base plate, I'm going to go on the side, click anywhere. And I'm going to click B and I'm just gonna drag drag your left click if it shows up like this don't worry just left click on a part any part doesn't really matter then do it again and then it just selects the whole thing so now I'm just gonna use the arrows to actually move it onto the base plate it's going to make it like standing like that like that.
and now we are going to add the lighting on the bottom it should say add click on it go up go to light go to sun and now use your move tool to move it up and in a specific position not that close to your character by the way just put a little bit close not that close And now I'm just going to rotate it. I'm just using the middle to rotate. Using the middle, it can make you um, rotate any way. So you don't have to use um, the lines. On the right side bottom, there are snowballs. You would like to click this one right here as it would show what it would look like when it's rendered. The sun's not that bright, so I'm going to brighten it more. So there's icons on the side over here. You like to go down to the light icon, but first make sure you have the sun selected. Go to strength, and I'm going to put it actually to four. It depends, three. And I'm going to put it like a specific light. I'm going to put it a little bit like, you know, sunset-y sort of. Like, and hold on. If it would render it would look like that um and if you have your light great once you're done with that you like to add the camera go back to add go up and go to camera on the side here there's a camera icon click on the camera icon and now as usual hold down shift and the squiggly line thing <laughs> use s to go back and then i'm just going to position it to a specific size actually I'm going to change the size of the camera um yeah Ooh, okay I'm actually going to put it to 5,000 5,000 that's a GFX size once you're done with your product you like to go on the top left click on render and then click on image so you would have to wait a little bit and I'll actually get back to you guys when it's all done. <laughs>